welcome back to my channel. So today I have baby Eleanor just because um, I felt like I should have a baby with me so I'm not super boring and it's just me. But um, another sit down talk video. Um, I know it's been a little while since I've made like an actual video for my channel. The last time I posted was like earlier this week but that video was just kind of an informative video and um, it's been a while since I've made like an actual like content video for my channel and that's really just because I've been busy um, with school obviously I'm going to college next year so I've been doing stuff like that and our hockey season just started up like uh, last week um, so I've also been busy with that <sighs> yeah so I've also been really busy working on painting babies because I had some Christmas dolls that I needed to get done and sent out so they would make it home in time for Christmas. So I've been doing a lot of things that aren't YouTube but are still important to my life. So that's just a quick little thing. But what I really wanted to come on here and talk about is what's going to happen to my channel. So obviously, like I said, I haven't been posting as much and I feel like some people are seeing that as like, oh my god, Kelly's quitting and that's not true, which is also why I wanted to like address this and make a video. So I'm sure everyone by now has heard that literally every video my oven goes off. That's my oven because I'm painting. Um, but I'm sure like everyone on the internet by now has heard that Kappa is um, making it a lot harder for uh, content creators, especially content creators for kids. And um, if you haven't like heard about all the COPPA stuff, obviously, where have you been, <laughs> um, first of all? But there are so many videos online that other people can explain it much better than I can, so definitely just uh, look that up. But the COPPA rules are apply or they're going to be affecting channels starting January 1st, and obviously that's coming up really soon, less than a month away. And it's supposed to be like this exciting time of year with Christmas and the holidays and everything. But for a lot of content creators, it's actually a really scary time because this is literally like the end of their careers. Because um, with the new COPPA rules, they're basically making it so anyone who makes content for kids is going to make 90% less revenue, which means they're literally going to get paid like only 10% of their paycheck that they're currently getting from YouTube and for a lot of creators YouTube is their only job um, and that's gonna probably have to change for a lot of people if that's their only way of making money and they're gonna get 90% less. Um, I know a lot of people have like tried to switch their content or they will just like quit altogether. Um, and not, I'm not doing that. I am still gonna make videos. I was in the beginning kind of trying to like gear my content more towards 13 plus, but obviously anyone can still enjoy it because that's how my content has always been. Anyone can enjoy it and watch it because everyone does. I have a really wide age range of people who watch my videos, so I don't gear my videos towards any specific range of ages. Anyone can watch them and anyone can enjoy them because dolls are for people of all ages, so yeah. Dolls are not just for kids, especially not these super expensive dolls that I collect. Um, but I also just wanted to talk about some things that will directly be affecting my channel. So um, obviously most of my content from a, like a first glance you'd be like, that's a kid's video because obviously my videos are mostly dolls and people always connect dolls with kids. So I did manually mark my channel as made for kids and if I didn't do that YouTube would do that themselves and if I didn't comply with that then I'd be charged I think it's like twenty thousand dollars for each video that I don't comply with COPPA um, so I just marked my channel as made for kids even though it's technically not but I did that so I can avoid all these issues so I really just want to talk about what that's gonna mean for my channel, which is why I'm making this video. So I have some notes, which is why I'm gonna be looking down for a second. Um, and this is things you guys wanna pay attention to. I'm gonna put Eleanor down for a second. So some big things about videos that are marked as made for kids. Uh, when I post the videos right now, if you guys are subscribed and have the little bell clicked, you get a notification when I post. But starting January 1st, they won't send notifications anymore. So even if you're subscribed and you have the bell clicked, I don't even know if the bell will be there anymore, but 
If you have that, it will not tell you when I post, so you won't be able to find that without like physically going to my channel. And relating to that, they won't recommend my videos either. Because they're marked for kids, they can't recommend it. So usually like if you're watching some person's video and then on the side it'll be like, watch these next, and it'll show like maybe one of my videos, and that's a big way that creators expand their audience because people just like scroll through YouTube and just find random things through their recommended and my videos won't get recommended anymore so you will physically have to search for my channel if you want to watch my videos which kind of sucks because like I said it's gonna lessen my audience and my reach and a lot of I feel like a lot less people will know when I'm posting well um so that'll lessen the views which is always sad because I feel like recently my videos haven't been doing as well as my videos in past years and that's kind of discouraging as a creator obviously I don't make it for the views but when you're doing really well getting a lot of views and everything it makes you more inspired and you want to keep making more content so having less views is definitely discouraging so that's another thing and um the videos also will not be searchable so I'm really not sure how you're gonna be able to find my videos I think I think you'll be able to search my channel, but you won't be able to physically search for specific videos. I really don't know why they're doing that one. That really sucks, and, um, like, it's gonna be so hard. I don't know. I really don't know all the specifics. I just have a list of, like, things that are going to be happening when videos are marked as made for kids. Um, another big thing is there'll be no comments, and I know a lot of you guys leave comments, um, and just, I ask videos, like, or I ask questions at the end of all my videos, like, and let me know in the comments. And now I'm literally, I'm probably still going to say that out of habit, because I've been saying that for, like, four years. I've been doing this for five years. I've been saying that probably for, like, four years. And I'm probably still going to say it, and no one's going to be able to comment. So, um, that's sad, because I won't be able to engage with my audience as much. Um, and then obviously, 90% less revenue is the biggest thing that's affecting all the content creators. So, basically, what's going to be happening with my channel is I'm still going to be here, I'm still going to be making my videos, and if you want to be able to see them, what I would recommend you do is follow me on Instagram. I'm going to try and promote my new videos a lot more on my Instagram. I've been doing that in the past like month, like when I post a new video, I'll promote it on my Instagram, usually just on my story. Um, not really on my page, but um, I probably will start doing that. Um, but if you are following me on my Instagram, then I can notify you guys, similar to like a YouTube notification. You can turn my Instagram notifications on, um, but since YouTube won't be sending out notifications when I post anymore, I'm going to try and remember to promote them on my Instagram so you guys will still know, because otherwise no one will know when I'm posting videos unless you like look me up and like find them. So, definitely follow my Instagram, Kelly Maple YT is my main Instagram, that's what I use the most. Um, and that's where I'll be posting like the updates and everything. And you guys can also engage with me there in the comments. I don't usually respond to Instagram comments just because like, I don't know, I feel like I can't respond to everyone, so I feel bad only responding to certain people, so I usually just don't respond at all. So I don't make people feel bad that I like didn't reply to them, but I usually go through and like heart all the comments. But since I won't be able to have YouTube comments, starting on January 1st, I'm going to try and remember to reply to comments and engage with you guys more because that's really the only place I'll be able to do that, um, which is pretty sad, but yeah, so definitely use Instagram. I think that's my biggest resource that's going to help out with this whole COPPA situation, but yeah, um, I think that's kind of all I really wanted to talk about. I just kind of wanted to mention to you guys, like, those important things like that you won't be able to search my videos, they won't be recommended, you won't get notifications, you won't have comments, like all these things. So I just kind of wanted to bring attention to that and let you guys know that um, I'll still be doing what I'm doing, I'll still be making my videos and yeah, and like I said, Instagram is going to be our new best friend, like we're going to use that and um, I'll use that to like promote the videos and stuff so you guys will still know when I'm posting and, and if you don't have Instagram because I know you have to be 13 to have Instagram, uh, have your parents um, follow I guess and have them like notify you about new videos and stuff like that. 
so yeah that's kind of all I wanted to say for this video I guess I'm sorry I haven't really been posting a lot of my usual content and even this isn't like my usual content I'm just like I don't know I've been busy I want to get back into posting some regular videos here's Eleanor so you can see a cute little baby I changed her earlier and she looks so cute so <laughs> I just thought I'd bring her in to say hello to everyone because she looks adorable in this outfit let me show you look at this so cute she has little bears on her feet oh she's adorable I love her she's so squishy <laughs> But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please click like and subscribe. And, um, hmm, what should they let us know in the comments? Should, do they even bother commenting because that's going to be gone soon? I don't know. Let me know how you feel in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Hopefully with, an act, like, an actual content video. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. Bye.